Hey guys, it's Kevin with WatchingTrade.com here with my Bulls vs. Bears outlook as we head into the trading week of July 13th through July 17th, 2015. So, kind of a weird thing going on here. I've got a Bulls shirt on. You can see my Bulls logo here. But it says C Red because lately we've been seeing a lot of red. Market has been going down, it's been getting hit. However, when things have all been said and done by the time Friday rolls around this past week, we were right back at break even on the week. A Monday cap down, took us down towards 2040 on the S&P, but we closed the week around 2075, 2076 or so. And what I'm trying to say with this shirt is that I am still bullish on the market overall, but I think we are set up for neutral activity where this bull market has entered a period of chop, consolidation, downside, potential, whatever you want to call it, but it isn't breaking. It is bending but not breaking. We continue to hold 2040 on the S&P, which a couple weeks ago I said was the key support level for me. And now I've kind of gone into the mindset that even if we do lose 2040, I just don't expect a big time downturn. I think you've got two camps, people who are either looking for a lot of downside in the market, you know, towards 1950, 1900, or people who are looking for this consolidation and choppy action to result in a very strong bounce back above 2100 and go make new all time highs. And I think those people are missing the obvious picture in front of them that we are nearly seven months into the year and we haven't gone anywhere on the S&P. We continue to just dicta, uh, digest between the break even line into the green and into the red on the year. Remember last year we closed at 2058. This year, uh, this past week, we bounced up or down below 2058 multiple times. So I think what's going to end up happening is we're not going to go anywhere and you're just going to see a lot more of what we saw this past week, which is a lot of volatility, but not really a lot of net change. Because remember, you go down 50 points, but if you come right back up 50 points, you haven't really gone anywhere. The market's kind of going in circles. So that's why I've got this Bulls shirt on to remind everyone the last seven years has been a very strong bull market, but now we're at that point in the cycle where maybe we're going to start to see a little bit of red and see some downside, but it's not going to break the long-term trend and just be prepared for some choppy action. With that said, if we break below 2040, I'm looking for a move down towards 2000 on the S&P. I expect strong psychological support around 2000. If you can break down beneath 2000, then I have to rethink things and put that Bears jersey on. Maybe we can't really sell off. But if you're holding 2040, I'm looking for bounces back up to where we are right about now, 2075-ish. 2085 is key near-term resistance. Get above that, I'm looking for a test on 2100. Get above 2100 and you're going to start to hear bulls say, oh, we're going for new all-time highs. Eh, I'd more likely be a seller above 2100, just like I'd be a buyer down towards 2040, but we'll tackle that hurdle once we get there. Good luck. Stay nimble.